possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. What is up my fellow collectors? It's your boy, the one and only, the Paradox Nerd, back again with another Hot Toys review. And today I'll be reviewing the Hot Toys MMS 449 Hella from the Thor Ragnarok movie. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off this review by saying that Hella was hella badass in the Thor Ragnarok movie. She kicked butt and she looked good kicking butt. You know, I'm not sure if it's, you know, the gothic makeup, the black hair, but damn, Kate Blanchett looked good and she looked good kicking butt. Um, it's probably one of the first times, you know, uh, that I actually thought get Kate Blanchett looked hot. You know, she looks good, but damn, she looked really hot in this movie. But enough of me talking about how hot Kate Blanchett looked in the movie. You know, I just want to dive deeper into the character. Hela is probably one of my favorite villains in the MCU. In my opinion, she was a better villain than Ultron. I mean, Ultron was was good, but damn, Hela was badass. So, I mean, that is one of the reasons why I decided to pick up the figure because I really love the character. I really love Cape Blanchett uh, in the movie, and I really love how this figure turned out. So. Without further ado, enough of me talking and talking about how hot Kate Blanchett was in the movie. Let's get into this review, starting with the packaging. As you can see, this is a really cool packaging by Hot Toys. Uh, like I mentioned before in my previous reviews for uh, Hot Toys Gladiator, uh, Hulk, and Thor, uh, I really dig the artwork on the packaging. Um, that's the front and here is the side. As you can see, um, the artwork kind of wraps around on each side. So really cool. I really love the coloring uh, of the packaging, really matching uh, the colors of Hella. Here is the back of the packaging. As you can see, really nothing special, just your information and warnings in regards to the figure itself. Here is the top of the packaging. And here is the bottom of the packaging. And inside the packaging, you just have a list of the cast and crew responsible for making this figure. And behind it is the figure itself. All right, so let's check out the articulation for Hela. Starting off with the head sculpt, as you can see, you can turn her head from side to side, but unfortunately you can't bring her head down or up just because it is not on the ball joint. Moving on to the shoulder joints, really good articulation there. As you can see, you can bring her arm out just about 90 degrees. Unfortunately, just because of her outfit, you can only bring her arm forward just about 30 to 40 degrees and same the opposite way. Now moving on to the elbow joint, as you can see, it is double jointed. So you can definitely bend her elbow way past 90 degrees and move it on to the wrist joints. As you can see, really no restriction, pretty good articulation there. Now moving on to the torso, as you can see, Hella has good articulation there. She could do some ab crunches and she could also turn her body left and right. Now moving on to the hip joints, as you can see, you could bring her hips just about 20 to 30 degrees. You could bring it forward just about 20 to 30 degrees and bring it backwards just about also 20 to 30 degrees. For the knee joints, it is double jointed, so really no restriction there. So you could definitely bend it way past 90 degrees. And as for the ankle joints, there is no articulation just because the boot is sculpted. All right, so the next thing I'd like to check out is the detail and materials used on this figure. And Hot Toys did an amazing job on the tailoring and the stitching of her outfit. As you can see, the designs all around her bodysuit is freaking amazing. I really love the materials that they use uh, for her, um, her outfit because you know, it's one of those things you don't have to worry about, like, you know, it ripping or anything. It is a good quality stretching material. So, you know, you could pose her with, you know, these dynamic poses without having to worry about, like, you know, any, like, fading issues or any, you know, you know, tears or anything like that. And I really love the soft feel of this cape. You know, they did an awesome job uh, using really good quality materials for the tailoring on this cape. And I also love her helmet. It is 
pretty badass. You know, it is made out of plastic, but it is a really sturdy plastic, so you would really have to kind of like force and, you know, like bend it and, you know, to break a piece off. Uh, so, but regardless, you still have to be careful and also be careful with the pointy end of it because it is actually kind of sharp. <laughs> the only gripe that I have is that they didn't use a seamless body. But to be honest, it is a minor gripe because I totally understand why they didn't go with a seamless body. You know, because I think a lot of us are going to pose her with her arm sticking out and like her holding the hammer. So to be able to do so, they would have to use this kind of body and not a seamless body. Because if you use a seamless body, you're going to you know, cause some fading issues with the, the body itself. So I think that is the reason why they went with uh, this kind of body instead of the seamless body. But overall, I am really happy the way things turned out in this department. So here are the accessories for Hella. You get a pair of sword holding hands, a pair of dressing hands, flame, a hand crushing Mjolnir, two swords, Scourge's axe, shoulder pads, and the figure base stand. So let's take a closer look at them. Here is a closer look at the sword holding hand. Here is a closer look at the gesturing hand. Really cool detail. Here is the flame. And you can just rest the flame right on top of her hand. Here is a closer look at the sword. As you can see, really cool detail. I really love like the etchings on the sword. And it's actually pretty sharp. <laughs> And this is probably one of my favorite accessories is the hand that's crushing Mjolnir. Really cool detail on this. And here is Scourge's Axe. Really cool detail. Really love the, the matte finish on it. So, pretty cool. And here is a closer look at the shoulder arm. So I just want to show you guys real quick in how to remove the cape that is attached to the shoulder armor and replace it with just the shoulder armor. So just remove it from here. And as you can see, there's a magnet that sticks onto the cape. So you take the shoulder armor and slip it through her breast armor <laughs> and just click it onto that little slot that's on here and voila. And here is the figure base stand with her name plate in the front. And here is the head sculpt of Hella. And as you can see, Hot Toys did a phenomenal job with the head sculpt. They definitely captured the likeness of uh, Kate Blanchett. I really love the makeup on her, the paint application, the details. I am speechless in how this head sculpt turned out. And I also love her helmet. Like I mentioned before, her helmet is sick. But overall, Hot Toys did a phenomenal job with this head sculpt, and I'm absolutely happy the way it turned out. So here are my final thoughts for Hella. Hella turned out beautiful, and she is a must-own if you are a fan of the Thor Ragnarok movie. Hell, you don't even have to be a fan of the movie. If you are a Marvel Cinematic Universe fan, definitely consider picking her up because she looks so badass. So beautiful. I really love the um, head sculpt on her. I feel the Hot Toys did a beautiful job capturing the likeness of Kate Blanchett. I really love the outfit. It is high quality material. Overall, I'm just super happy that I decided to pick her up. I'm really happy that Hot Toys decided to take a risk in making Hella. I think uh, you know the risk definitely pays off. She turned out great. And as you can see with future releases uh, like uh, Shuri, uh, that uh, they are going to consider uh, making a lot more characters from uh, the movies that we love. So with that being said, you know, kudos to you Hot Toys. I am give you a lot of props for, for doing this. All right, guys. So that wraps up my video. Thank you guys again in taking the time out of your busy schedule and checking out my video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And also remember, it doesn't matter what you collect. Collecting is collecting. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.